I was going to have you explain um, the process, what you went through as a Barrett, I mean, as a Meekum buyer, you know what I mean? Going and mm -hmm. doing the whole thing. Because I don't think a lot of people, I don't know. And I'd be a little reluctant because I don't yeah. know the process and I'd be like so nervous about it, you know? And you went by yourself? Um, to register that my brother-in-law met me. Oh, okay. So you had him with you the, the when you actually the, did the auction. It was a Wednesday car, so yeah, on the Wednesday. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, but first they wanted a deposit because they want to know if you're good for it, you know, for the money. So this is like on the phone you're doing this? No, just online. Just oh, okay. information. Okay. So they said you, you can go to your bank and get a letter from the bank stating that you're good for it. You know, your accounts can cover up to a certain amount or whatever. Right. So I went to the bank and the bank said, no, we don't do that. And I said, okay. So the other option is give them a $5,000 check. Just which a check? You get, you get a check made out to them for 5000 which you give them when you register, when you go up to register. At the, at the This is not online registering. Right. Up there. So if you give them the check and if you don't, Win a, win a bid or take a car, they give you the check when you on on your way out of the door. You get your check back. The whole five thousand. The whole five thousand. Okay. Yeah, they don't keep anything. If you put it down a credit card deposit, they take a percentage. So a check, they don't take any. So if you put use your credit card for that five thousand, they take a percentage of that, even if you don't bid on a car. Okay. okay. So so with a check, you get all your money back. So if you bid on a car, it's a percentage. And then what? It, yeah. So I, when I bid on the car, um, what you owe them is the Hammer price plus ten percent minus your five thousand because you already paid them five thousand. So they apply the five thousand towards your purchase. So the hammer price. So the let's say price. a car was ten thousand dollars. Right. Then it would be ten percent of the ten thousand. Ten. Was it ten percent? Yeah, ten percent. Yeah. So it'd be a thousand dollars. So it'd be eleven thousand dollars, and then if you gave them five thousand, you'd owe them six. So. Wait, eleven thousand? Why the eleven? Well, if you pay ten thousand for the oh yeah hammer plus price the one thousand right plus the buyer's premium. Okay. Of ten percent would make it eleven thousand dollar purchase. Okay, and then and then they apply your five thousand, so you owe them six thousand on the way out the door. So, and then they register the car and everything. They have a motor vehicle set up there, so they do your uh, your registration. They give you the paper tag. I mean, you could drive it really if it was a car that was drivable. Yeah. And what about insurance? You have to. Um, well, they're, well, they're insured. You have to put it on. No, you have to put it on your insurance, but it's insured until they deliver it. So oh, it's on okay. their insurance until to, it's to your, delivered to your door. It's insured. But if you take it from there, you have to be right. insured, obviously. Right. But you call Haggerty. They they do it right there. They'll show you right over the phone. Because I called Haggerty before I went up, and they said, "No, if you get a car, call us. You'll have insurance when you leave the place." And those of you who have uh, collector or classic cars might want to check with the Corvette Museum. You don't have to have a Corvette, but we're finding that the the rates are. are one of our Rick, for example, Rick 430, he's got eight cars under them, and uh, he saved quite a bit of money. He said uh -huh. hundreds. So it's worth checking into the National Corvette Museum, and you don't have to have a Corvette or Haggerty's. Like I have Haggerty's. Yeah, yeah. You have Haggerty's also. Yeah. Okay, Haggerty's is good. I'm not putting them down. I'm just there is another company you can shop if you want. Yeah. And there's other ones also, but that one I know of because Rick just signed up with them recently. So, and then, uh, so how, the process, so what about the actual process? You know when the car is going to be going up that you're looking you, at? You have, yeah, when you look at it, they, each car is listed and it tells you what day it's going to be going for auction. And the time? Or no, not? no, that they don't say. So you just have to be there and be well, you, ready? You can, tell, you can tell by the number, because mine, mine was W for Wednesday, W48. So you know it's going to be the 48th car that day so it's not going to be that far okay the day. is that what it is the 48 yeah, right. equals the 48th car right, right. But, okay but there are some blank numbers there too so actually 40 it's got to go up further you i was probably the 38th or 39th car of that day and they figure about what two to three minutes a car okay is that what it is yeah, okay like that, yeah. so mine went up about quarter to 12. Well, you know, it's it's on and over, but yeah. still, it's got to be it's something quick. that's... Yeah, um, it took about 60 seconds. That was, but yeah. something that, you know... Um, well, yeah, you don't, you, don't, you don't know. I mean, I think I was going to jump in around 12, 15,000. They started at 20, no one, no one bid on it, so they went to 10. And all of a sudden, it's at 18, before I even knew it. Wow. And then I didn't even know... I mean, I was bidding, I don't even know how many bids I put in, it went so fast. Because the guy stands next to you, you know, once you bid, you get your... 
bidding, you know, your assistant there to scream for you. Right. So I think I bid at 19, 21, 23, and 25. I think this is in here. Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. So, 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 so I think I, I think my first bid was at 19,000. And then it so was. So, what did you do? Fed. Raise your hand or well, something? Well, he stands next to you. So oh, he that's He just right. looks at you. He just signal. He screams. And then I think I said, I think I bid at 19, 21, 20. I, I was going to go out because that was my limit. And, um, he went for uh, he, they went for 24, and he looked at me for 25, and I I, I don't know I got caught up in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so so that can happen. Uh, you gotta yeah. be careful. Well, then it's personal. Then it's me and this one guy by the stage, and it's kind of personal, like you know. So yeah, all right, you bid that, I'll bid this. So, wow. Uh, so, so I said 25, and then I heard the auctioneer say, uh, "Do you want 26?" Because whoever was bidding against me was right near the right near the stage. Okay. And he says, "Do you want 26?" And I heard no. And then he said sold for twenty five. But I at that point I didn't even know twenty five was my bid. It went so fast. I wasn't. Oh wow! Well, yeah. I wasn't. 100, I wasn't one hundred percent sure. <laughs> you weren't sure what number no, you were at. No. It went oh so wow! Fast. No. And you're so wrapped up in the moment, I guess. Yeah, it's the fast. Adrenaline it's, and everything. It's, it's light. Yeah, it's lightning fast. I know. Before before the car went up, as the car's getting ready to go up, my brother-in-law says to me, "Are you nervous?" I says, "You know, matter of fact, I am. I feel like I'm going on, on stage or something." <laughs> 